Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together once again we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart. I'll be sharing the current trades that I have open and the targets for these trades as well as of course the most important levels going forwards. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I'm not going to be wasting any time. We're going to be getting straight into the analysis. I'd just like to start off by saying as well as of course passing on my knowledge and insights that I can give you into this chart and the set that we have ahead of us. I'd like to pass on in this video, I'd really love to do this, my energy, my excitement and my positivity that I have right now. I'm feeling extremely good about the markets, about my current trading. I truly know that 2023 is going to be a massive year for the markets. Whether you're an investor or a trader like myself, the opportunity is going to be big. We're going to take full advantage of this and I'm just really excited for what's to come this year. So I hope that I can pass this on to you in this video. I hope that I can provide that with you. A little bit of a little bit of maybe inspiration, a little bit of, you know, let's go and do this. We're absolutely going to crush the charts as well as this can be a big year of improvement, right? Let's focus on the improvement. Let's focus on getting better little by little. Improve, 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 improve. Let's never stop working. Let's never stop loving what we do and let's get straight into the analysis analysis as I promised you. So I'd like to pick up where I left off my last video. Obviously, the last few have been talking about this bullish start of 2023. The last one, 2023 pump is finally underway. Okay, and I'm picking up here as we made the last video, which was being recorded on this exact candle. It is, was just as we were hitting the VWAP. So we had just hit that VWAP support, which I earlier in the day had given to my team as our very big support level. We came down in the end and we touched that support of the VWAP intraday and it was the low. Okay, that was the low that brought us up to the high that I mentioned, which was above this candle high which was $16,777. That was the high of that candle. And of course, I was talking to you about a potential then swing failure pattern, taking out this high and this major last high to give us that potential swing failure pattern setup, which is in the end exactly what did happen. Okay, so we had that swing failure pattern of those two prior highs. I did have my alert go off that I set to get ready for that short position and the reaction was perfect and I did take that short trade. Okay. And by the way, yeah, if you want to see the failed auctions or previous champions live streams, you can get that over on the website. So <laughs> I saw that there in the corner of my eye. But yeah, going back to the analysis, I did take that short position. Of course, I'm no longer in that short. Sorry about that. I had an urgent message that I needed to respond to. And now we are back for the continuation of the analysis. So as I was saying, I did short that swing failure pattern and I've since closed out of that trade fully, by the way. But I'd just like to briefly explain what went on and how I managed that. So after taking the swing failure pattern, we of course managed to come down in price. I'll show you exactly what went on here. We come back down to take the mini range low get another increase in price, ending the, you know, what we could call the correction here. Why? Well, when we take the high, low, high, okay, to this side, we can see we came down to around that one-to-one -one extension, which then gives us this really nice A, B, C correction. Could also be classed as W, X, Y here on the very local time frame frames, but nevertheless, we had this really nice three-legged move, okay, which confirms this is still a correction to the downside and we are expecting another impulse higher. That's where I went on to tell my team, okay, after we had managed to come back into this range, confirm the failed auction, um, you know, I would like to see another high made here on Bitcoin. OK, I'm still going to be looking for higher here and I expect this high to come. And as you know, probably by now, when I say to something that I'd like to see on Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a very good, you know, I think a relationship with me. I say, I'd like to see that Bitcoin. And Bitcoin says, hey, OK, Daniel, let's make that happen. And, you know, I wanted to see higher and higher we got. OK, specifically here, as we go into the early morning today, OK, after hitting that correction, we get that next impulse, next wave to the upside at around 4 a.m. Just after 4 a.m., I'm having my alerts go off and I'm thinking to myself, well, here we go. This is the move that I wanted to see. I'm just going to read out my thought process here as we start to move on to exactly what's happening now and what we're looking at next. OK, I think my targets are going to be absolutely fully understanding by now. OK, so as I say here, I had my trading alerts go off just after 4 a.m. I knew this was the move up that I was expecting to happen. I check the order flow and I make an informed decision. The move is not over and we will make another high. I then update my team moments later. This is the CC pulled way. <laughs> so you can see here, I mean, here we are at 4 a.m. Having my alerts go off, going over to the charts, 
checking the charts, checking the order flow, making an informed decision. My analysis at the time at 4 a.m. this morning, UK time, was we are going to continue here. We're going to continue up and we will make another high locally. I am not going to short this yet because I have no way of using an invalidation on the trade. That was part of my decision. I had no way to use an invalidation. I needed to see a local range form and I still expected higher. There was no weakness there locally. As I say, maybe very clearly to my team within the group, right? Here is the Bitcoin pump that I wanted to see. For now, there are Still local lo local short trades that I'm in. I made this very clear during my Champions live stream that I've done. And, you know, I've been making it clear to my, my group and the members that I'm no, not in any local short trades. I want to see higher. And now higher we got this morning at 4 a.m. But still, I'm still looking for higher because there is no rejection. It has not happened yet. And obviously that long that I was in from the value area low, okay, from last week, I'm still in that long. I'm still trading up the stop loss. And because this bullish market structure has remained, that you know, stop loss has not been hit. And we're still continuing up here in the in the local bullish market structure. And then I go on to give all this information as well as the next target that I have, which is the daily 16,919 zone. OK, that's the next level above us, the next one that we're going to be looking for as we're looking for the continued move. And we got it four hours later after that post, we did get another move to the upside. OK, so as I was posting here around 4 a.m., it took a little bit of time, but around just after 8 a.m., we got another move to the upside. We made our next high. OK, so this was going into London open times, but in London open, we managed to make that new high. And now I want to show you this really nice fractal that, of course, I was looking to short the daily. This daily was slightly front run, but we were given a swing failure pattern setup. So this is a short setup nevertheless. OK, why? Because this is a swing failure pattern. We can trade that just off of that pattern alone. OK, and I actually want to show you a really nice fractal. OK, so I want to show you this because it's absolutely wonderful. Here we made a high retracement, swing failure pattern, that high retracement. Here, what happened? The exact same fractal of price action that we were trading yesterday. OK, oh, actually two days ago now, my apologies, two days ago now, <laughs> where we put in the high retracement, swing failure pattern, that high further retracement. This price action here is an exact fractal of this price action here. Of course, the time is slightly different. This is slightly quicker, but we were just trading this exact same move, the exact same theory, and the exact same reason why I took this short here, based off of that swing failure pattern, is the exact reason I took this short here, based off of that swing failure pattern. <laughs> okay, so it's, sometimes it's very helpful to look for these fractals. They're very helpful, uh, but you know, even if I didn't have that fractal, this is still a valid short trade off of the swing failure pattern. OK, and now we have once again a mini range to trade. So just as we traded then or this mini range, we now have a mini range to trade. Well, we have come back and we've back tested. Well, we've just actually done it again, back tested a weekly. I have actually just removed this weekly off of my charts. But for me, that is a back test of the weekly. Naturally, a very good take profit one. Again, this is for lower term time frame traders because these moves in terms of percentages are not big. They are profitable, um, but they're obviously not big percentage moves. For, for your scalp traders, it's absolutely bread and butter. It's something that we love. And this is now our mini range to be trading. OK, so what are we looking then in, in terms of this mini trend, in terms of this mini range? Well, our weekly, which is, you know, around sixteen thousand eight hundred twenty four dollars. Uh, we currently have our weekly support. Right. And I think that in, if, if I'm totally honest, with you, I'd, I, I would say if you also manage to secure that short trade off of the um, swing failure pattern alongside me, this is a good time to be locking in take profit one, moving that stop loss down to entry or in profits. OK, would we thinking to myself at this time, protect profits. Why? Because we, if you know, if the probabilities continue and this uptrend continues, well, if you don't take profits, uh, then if we do get that subsequent move to the upside, you're going to get stopped out. Right. So you need to lock in those profits, protect that trade and, you know, put yourself in a position where you've hit take profit one on the short, move the stop loss down. If we do get a pump, well, brilliant. We can look towards our next level and our next short trade. Or if we don't and we do continue down to my next level, well, then, you know, you, you continue to make profits on that short. That's a good mentality to be in. OK. And, uh, you know, so now I've talked you through the past few days of price action, I've obviously give you a glimpse of what I'm looking at now. And I would like to go more in depth of exactly what we're looking at here in terms of we're going to look at the order flow together now. And I'm going to explain the next levels more clearly to you of what I'm looking for next. I'd like to just do one quick announcement for you. And that is related to this post. But it's in terms of like, you know, why 
you know, actually, yeah, this is something. Yeah, I thought of one quick announcement that I actually want to talk about this for just a few minutes because I, I, I think hopefully it can, you know, maybe inspire you somewhat. But many people, and I sometimes actually question this myself, right? And it's like, and maybe or maybe you don't have the same same scenario but, or, or, or um, occurrence, but myself, I can say I have made a lot of money. I can class myself as financially free. Okay, and I'm very blessed and happy about that. But this actually forms somewhat a bit of a problem in my brain at times, where when you're in a position of having a lot of money, where you could essentially just retire, do nothing for your rest of your life, it does become at times an issue of uh, motivation, like knowing that you don't need to trade anymore. It's very easy to fall into a trap of just saying, hey, you've made all the money you're ever going to need. Uh, you know, what is there a need to continue? OK, and this is where surrounding yourself with the right type of people, the right type of community and other successful people that are able to push you on to more is what's absolutely key. OK, so I had a very deep conversation with some of my closest um, people. And, um, you know, I've also I've also got a mentor now and it's just like really nice for me. It's actually really helpful. I, I find it brilliant. And it's like, Daniel, how can you ever stop? First of all, I do love what I do. It is a video game. It is a passion. But also when you just stop to think about all the people that you are helping, you cannot stop this. This is something that is absolutely powerful. This is bigger than myself and we need to continue to give this support to the people that really need it right now. And I absolutely emphasize this this morning where I'm coming in here 4 a.m. I'm still getting up from my alerts. I'm still giving these trades. I'm still doing this. And then it's like these type of words of feedback. It's thank you for coming online, Daniel, to give us your insights. I am immensely grateful. Of course, for me, it's not a problem to come in here and give the updates inside my Discord because I'm doing these trades anyway. But this is why I'm doing it, right? This is why I'm putting in that extra effort. It's because I love that feeling that we are truly making a difference and helping people. So this guy says, this is the kind of thing that will keep me subscribed to Chart Champions, showing up in important times like this for that boost of confidence. As another guy says, yeah, man, these are critical times ahead. This is also why I signed up. Don't want to miss out on anything important. And finally, yeah, you can really feel the passion and confidence from all of the coaches, as well as the contributors here in the channels, speaking on things with confidence and ease as they're speaking from experience and logical systematic planning. And that's just absolutely true. I mean, from just coming in here, giving our posts, giving our updates, giving our levels, that of course adds a lot of confidence to the member. And that's, you know, I, I think that's one of the main things that we're talking about here. Of what's the difference between a successful trader, profitable trader and someone that loses regularly? I think a lot of it is down to that emotions. It's down to that confidence. And it really is all about that psychological aspect. The levels are not hard, right? The levels are not hard, but that psychology and the emotions is what a lot of people take profits too early on, short too early, get stopped out, get stopped out. So by coming in here, giving my updates, for example, saying I'm expecting another high, recognizing the past fractal that we had for a swing failure pattern, well, that remains, helps you remain patient for the next four hours. Patient, patient, patient. Daniel said we'll make a new high. And then four hours later, we make the new high. We get the swing fire pattern. We see the fractal and then we get a short trade entry. And it's that bit of confidence. It's that bit of, you know, understanding that I'm here to help you. I'm here to look out for you and guide you along the way. And, uh, you know, that that really brings it just always. I just think back to that and think, hey, why am I doing this? You know, why did I start Chat Champions? It's for the people. It's to help them. And then I just stop and I think about that. It's like, how can I ever stop this? I love trading. I love what I do. And then we truly are making a big impact and difference. I think 2023 has absolutely inspired me in that regard. I'm going to absolutely continue. I'll just remind you this, as I was saying yesterday, I've done a special altcoin update recently. If you're interested in checking that out, just uploaded the failed auction two days ago. Obviously, this was two, uh, two days ago. Now I've done a uh, live stream, then covering my higher term time frame swing trades. Tonight, I host another live stream if you're interested over on the website where I'll be covering actually another step of failed auctions. So I'm doing live streams galore, content galore. And for me, it's like I say here, it doesn't matter the year. Hard work will always get rewarded. OK, so without that, that hard work, without that determination, without that grit, without that, you know, motivation at the end of the day, without surrounding yourself with the positive, hardworking people, it's easy to give up. It's easy to not push forwards and it's easy to become stuck in bad habits, let's say. 
And so, yeah, that would be my little bit of talk before I move on to what I'm looking at now inside of the Bitcoin chart. Final words, surround yourself with good people, get yourself into a good community, find yourself a good mentor, you know, get get involved with other people that are absolutely passionate about what you love. And when you share that passion, when you share that love, and when you can see the results in front of you, something clicks and you have a lot of motivation. So that's what I'm hoping to bring you. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So as I mentioned, I personally did take this swing failure pattern short and I have hit take profit one on that. Thus, if we absolutely just pump from here, that's absolutely fine. I'll just get stopped on the rest of that short trade. If anything, I suppose I'm actually expecting to get stopped on that and, and absolutely fine to see another high made. Okay. Next high below, above us, of course, is daily. Once again, it's a zone. These levels are zones. So we have this daily zone. Obviously, slight front run here. The next one could be a, a little bit of a move slightly through it before a swing fire pattern, for example. But this would be our next zone above us, the daily. If we break through that, we still have that middle of the channel level at around $17,080, okay? So that would be my next two zones above us. Of course, 17K psychological is one to be aware of too. But I think the most important ones, the levels above us are fairly easy in my opinion. The levels below us are more important here locally because we want to see this market structure. Um, so of course we're, we're hitting the weekly here locally. Then below us we have around at 16,800 still important level. And as I've got marked here, a key level. Why is this a key level for me? Well, what I would like to see is another retracement impulse. And then if we get that final retracement, see if this lines up to around the one to one. So then we have a perfect factor. But also this would start to be a breakdown in mar bullish market structure locally. OK, of course, we could still get a larger retracement and then increase. And that's still bullish market structure. But local market structure, this level around this is a zone. Please emphasize this is a zone around 16,766. This would be if we start to break down from here, we're going to start to come back into this like single prints that we've built on the way up. And that is just a sign of weakness. Okay. And then I would start to think, well, this short position actually can turn into maybe a little bit of a day trade here at the very least. Okay. Maybe swing trade, who knows? But for myself now, personally, I have took my first trade. I'm, I'm, I'm now remaining patient to what we look for next. Okay. I know the levels that I'm looking for. I now remain patient for one of them to come into play. I must admit I am and I know people are going to be maybe confused by this, but I am leaning locally bullish in terms of I would be happy to see another increase to the upside. Just as, to be honest, I'd be happy to see another move to the downside, right? I'm, I'm very agile in that regards. I have no wants or needs of the market. I'm just happy to see another, one of my levels hit from my next trade setup. But I really wouldn't be upset if we continue the uptrend here and do get stopped out of that short. I still have that run long running and I'll continue to look for then the next next level to the upside. And I think that's the way that you need to approach the market. So really listen to what I'm saying here. Okay, really, really understand and listen to this final words. I have no wants. I have no needs. I have no desires. I have no, you know, real saying this needs to happen. This is what I want to happen. As a professional trader, I'm doing my analysis. I'm marking out my levels. And I'm saying, OK, market, now come to me. I've got the heart. I've got the car cards in my hand. I am the dealer. Now give me your shot. Show me what you want to do. Thus, I remain patient for one of those levels to come into play. If I get the reaction, I take the trade. If I don't, I simply don't take the trade. Right. This is a best way to approach the market level to level environment. Trade the reaction, take the trade, execute. Execute, execute, execute. Know when to remain patient. For example, here waiting for a new high. We made a new high and well, it took a four hours, but we did make a new high. OK, and then it's well, when well, then we had the perfect reaction in, in terms of that with the fractal of the previous setup. It was it, it was just so similar. It was uncanny. Right. It was it was lovely. And now it's once again remaining patient. OK, I can expect and absolutely be fine with the continued uptrend. Stopped out of that short. I'll look for my next level to the upside where well, I'll either decide to take a short or no trade and continue to ride up my longs from higher. Alternatively, we do get a larger pullback and I know my next key level to the downside. So it's more of a lower term time frame video update. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> I remember I had a comment the other day saying, Daniel, please stop doing uh, thumbnails and titles that are absolutely nothing to do with that video. And I'm probably going to do that again. This, this video, I don't know. I could either name this video downtrend to begin or uptrend to start. I'm probably just going to call it start of the bull market, although I've not actually said that at all. So, hey, <laughs> it keeps you on your toes. I like to make people listen to what I say rather than trading off a title or a thumbnail. So I'm going to keep you on your toes and I'll just put some random thumbnail and title on this video. But I hope that you've enjoyed it nevertheless. And uh, I hope that you've truly listened, understood, because if you have, you're absolutely ready for what's next. If you want, of course, that professional 
atmosphere scenario where you just want my concise and precise updates, no confusion, exactly what I'm looking at to the point with the exact scenarios, well, that's what you're going to get with inside the group at chartchampions.com. So you get my trading updates, not only mine, but of course, the other coaches here, you can see we were doing some live trading. So if you want to see live trading, if you want to see live updates, if you want the educational content, then you can get all of that over at chartchampions.com now. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed that video. You know where to catch us if you want more. As again, I've got another live stream tonight. So I'll catch you in that one if that's of interest to you. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and have an absolutely wonderful day and week ahead. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.